guys, welcome back to Dojo Setting. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to turn a bolt-on hold into a screw-on hold. Uh, so, right here we have one of the Thrive Wibbles. Um, now you see that it already has a set screw hole, that's pretty helpful. Um, I'm going to put another hole right here as well, so that way we can have three screws holding this thing in. Um, so, the way I'm going to do that is I have one of these bits here. Uh, now I really like to pre-drill the holds uh, rather than just putting a screw right into it. And the reason being, depending on the plastic, uh, you could crack or damage your hold. Um, Throb has great plastic. Um, I, I just do this for every hold. Regardless of who makes it, I always pre-drill it. It's just a precaution. Uh, now, the other reason why this bit is pretty cool is because of this here. It creates a countersink uh, into the hold so that the screw sits flush. You're not going to have anything to catch uh, your, your fingers on, your toes on. It's just going to leave a nice flush area where the screw is. Uh, so, the way we're going to do this, I think I'm going to put my hole right there. Alright, so now uh, we have three holes here. We have here, here, and this middle one here. Um, now obviously a screw is not going to fit through this hole. If you tighten this down, it's just going to come straight through. Um, so I like to use the Escape Lone Stars. Um, so this is a little piece of hardware that you put a screw into, just like this. That goes right into the bolt hole, just like that. The biggest mistake I see uh, people doing with this is thinking that this is enough. One screw cannot replace the bolt. This is not enough. This is not safe. Uh, you might be able to pull on it for a time or two, but I guarantee you it will spin or it will rip out of your wall. This is not enough. You need more screws. Uh, me personally, I'm going to use both of these screw holes as well as uh, the Lone Star here. Make sure you are climbing on more than this. One screw is not enough. Uh, the reason why you would turn a bolt-on hold into a screw-on hold. You can see behind me, my wall is pretty full, uh, but I can always add more holds by screwing them on. And so being able to screw holds on and utilize every inch of my wall gives me more options. It's more fun. I can make up more climbs and it's great. So generally speaking, you can screw almost any hold onto the wall. Me personally, I am more reluctant to screw high profile holds onto the wall. High profile meaning they stick out of the wall far. So if you have your wall here, if the hold sticks out way out here, I'm probably not going to screw it on. I've seen it done, and I've seen it done safely. It can be done. Uh, I'm just a little hesitant to do it. Uh, that's not to say that big holds can't be screwed on. This big yellow thing behind me, you know, it, right now it's got two set screw holes. If I added a few more, I'd be comfortable screwing that one on as well. There you have it. That's how you turn a hold into a screw-on hold. Uh, if there's anything you'd like me to cover, let me know down in the comments. And as always, hit that like and subscribe. We'll keep pushing out videos.